Well, hello there, Shelly Rock. So this is a video about recording with the microphone on the HS80 RGB wireless headset. So if you are using the HS80 RGB wireless headset and you have low audio, then you've come to the right place. Now, I watched loads of videos of multiple heads headsets before I bought this headset. I wanted one to hopefully move away from using my Elgato Way 3 to just having a headset and a microphone in one so I don't have to worry about banging the desk, banging the microphone, uh, setting it up separately and yeah it's not gone quite as easy as I hoped so uh, this is what we're talking about so uh, the, the the software you use in the um, Corsair is this it's called IQ now to configure your microphone you go into the headset and then you go into now you can go into equalizer and you can turn your volume up now this is what my microphone sounds like now with the volume Imagine me doing quotation marks. I'm doing quotation marks saying it's at its maximum. So let's record. Hi, I'm Shirley Rocks. This is a recording. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, I'm Shirley Rocks. This is a recording. One, two, three, four, five. See, now that sounds okay, but if you compare it to the volume level of my um, Elgato Wave 3, it's it's a lot lower. Now, there is an additional way to increase the audio. Now, we can do it two ways. We can do it in IQ software, and we can do it externally in another piece of software. Now, if you want to use IQ software, you go down here. You go to device settings. There's a mic boost. Now, I, I've not seen this anywhere in the manuals mention you can do this, so you turn that on. You quit out of that, come back in here. Let's try again. Hi, I'm Shirley Rocks. This is a, a recording mic test. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's listen to this. Oh, first of all, we'll, look, we'll, we'll, we'll watch the first one and see the peak. Hi, I'm Shirley Rocks. This is a recording. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so that was about minus 18 was the maximum. And then we'll listen to the second one. Hi, I'm Shirley Rocks. This is a, a recording mic test. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that as you can see, that does boost it quite a bit. And if you don't like that, you think that's a bit too loud, you want to tone it down a little bit, you just come in here. You do it there. Mic test, mic test. One, two, three, four, five. And you can see that instantly does it. Mic test, mic test. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the, the intro with this IQ software is you need to have it running all the time. So if I quit out of the IQ software, which I will do now, you're going to get this sort of level again. Hi, I'm Shirley Rocks. This is a mic test. One, two, three, four, five. Hi, I'm Shirley Rocks. This is a mic test. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the second way of doing it. If you don't want IQ software running for whatever reason that you don't like it, it doesn't work on your PC. There is a third party way of boosting that glorious audio. So you want to go to Google, you type in Equalizer APO, you go to this site, SourceForge, you click on download. It's going to download an XE. Now you'll run this and then this will run this config for this program. Now I will show you the program. Now it installs it to, I'm on 64 bit, it installs it to program files, equalize APO. When you first install it, it'll run this file, which is configurator. And then you want to go to capture devices here. Um, I did click that for the headset just because it kept um, reminding me and annoying me. So, but you don't need to, you can just go to capture devices, click your headset. Now, when you click that, it'll start off like that. You click it and it will say, oh, you need to reboot your PC, so you do. Once you've rebooted your PC, now there's two ways you can go about this. You can go the interface way, or, well, the editor way, or you can go the config way. Now, the config for this is stored in here, so it's config. So if you open up config thing, now the example one that you originally get uh, uses a file called example text like this and example text <laughs> just to confuse matters this has got a simple bass boost on that one so if you don't want a bass boost you just want to boost your decibels 
You can do it like I've done and just delete all the other stuff and just have your preamp. Now, here's where the interesting part is. So this is IQ software is not running now, as you can see. And I am going to do a test record. So this is a test record, zero decibels. So this is a test record, zero decibels. Now, the cool thing is now, if you go into that config and you go increase that by six decibels, save it. Now this is live, so watch this now. Hi, this is a test record. This is at six decibels. Hi, this is a test record. This is at six decibels. So you can do it like that if you just want to do a basic boost. Now, if you want to do the more, I'm no audio expert, but if you want to do all the messing around, which you could probably do the same as what you could do in the IQ, you just run editor and then you can add all your effects on here. Uh, if you want to add some plugins, some good plugins are the, um, I think I got the um, Reaper um, plugins and drop them in there. It's like, it gives you like a 30 day trial. Make sure you only use it for 30 days and you can pay. Now uh, you can add extra effects on here. So you go to plugins, VST plugins, and you unlock that and you choose what you want to do. And this is, so this is like what, what we were doing the other things. So this is like an equalizer and you can like, you can change all your effects on here if you know what you're doing. I, I, I like to watch videos on YouTube and pretend to know what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, generally, doesn't it doesn't work out its plan but as you can see now my voice will sound different when I record this now so this is my voice with the EQ applied so we'll listen to the first one then the second one hi this is a test record this is at six decibels so this is my voice with the EQ applied there you go that sounds nothing like that's any different to my terrible ears but that's how you you know add it and turn it all on you can see the effects there down there i've done it so hopefully this has helped you a slight bit because i think if you don't want to use the eq it's just such a, an easy way to go into your config and boost your decibels make sure you don't do it too high as you will blow out ears and if you do want to do iq go ahead and do iq and turn on the extra boost anyway that's it for now this is 8 minutes 30, probably the shortest video I've done. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Oh, leave me a thumbs up if this helped you because this could be applied to any Corsair headset that uses the, uh, you know, like the Virtuoso, any, any Corsair headset that uses the IQ software. So, uh, yeah, let me know if this helps you out.